it's a skill. A lot of men, I think, view it as, well, it's a feeling. And if I don't feel up to it, well, then that's the equivalent yeah. of me just being a weak man. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm this, and I'm unworthy, and I'm that. And that's going to just spiral you down into a rabbit hole of darkness that, that you just, it's hard for you to come out of. Like, listen, there, I saw this video online. I actually did a podcast on it. It's not my content. I can't, I can't say it's my content. I can't remember who came up with it. But there's three types of men, right? The victim, the content zombie, and the executor. The victim will tell you all the reasons why they can't do something, right? It's because of their childhood, it's because of their challenges, it's because of their finances, it's because of their emotions. It's because like, I had a guy email me, I kid you not. He used to actually be a part of our mastermind. He was there for one month. This was four years ago, one month and he quit. He ended up emailing me last night saying, hey man, I really need some help. I just can't, I can't, um, I can't articulate my emotions and it's because of my childhood. It's because of this and it's because of that telling basically what he emailed me was his story, mm-hmm. right? And his proof of why he can't. And I'm like, you are, and, and m- the first thing that entered my mind is cause you see that a mile away, you know what that is. And I'm like, no, you can, you absolutely can. The story you're telling yourself is per is the very thing that's preventing you from doing the mm-hmm. thing that you want to do. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you're a victim, what happens is, is, I have these th- these thoughts and these feelings. I am my thoughts. I am my feelings. I'm this. I'm unworthy. I'm that. And what what, what the victim will do is, is they will not execute. And in fact, what they do is, is they actually look proactively. They don't know that they do this. They proactively look for proof, right? So if you say, I'm just not a good communicator, they'll actually go out and be like, oh, see, like I couldn't tell my wife how I felt. See, I'm not a good communicator. And they'll actually look for the proof. The very thing that they're trying to overcome, they're actually looking to prove that it's true, right? That's, but that's how our minds work. That's how the default mind works. This is how, and this is where skills come into play, right? Because you got to override that operating system. And the way you do that is through the skills that you learn. So then you have the content zombie. Now, I think content zombies, we have a ton of them now, nowadays, right? People are just binging on podcasts and I have a podcast, but you know, right. But they're binging on podcasts, YouTube videos, audio books, regular books. It's information, information. If I take in enough information, my life will change. Right. And I, I got to give kudos to the content zombie. I was one at one point too. That's how I even moved into the world that I'm in now. But I thought like, if I learn, 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 my life will change. That's actually not true. I got to give kudos to the content zombie because they're hungry. They're like, I'm tired of being a, a victim and I'm ready to learn. But they, but the missing piece is they don't know how to implement it. They don't know how to place it into their life and start to execute. And that's where the executor is. So the executor is like, all right, I just learned this from my coach. I just learned this from my mastermind. I just learned this from this book. I'm going to go do it. And it's going to become a part of not just me doing it. It's going to be a part of me being it right? Mm -hmm. I'll give you one example of that. If you're asking your wife, how was your day when you come home from work, please stop asking her that question. (laughs) It's a terrible question that doesn't result in any, any high quality communication, zero connection and zero intimacy. You don't, it takes zero brain power to ask that question and it takes zero brain power for someone to answer you. So they're going to say, fine, good, busy, crazy, Mm -hmm. whatever Mm -hmm. it is, right? Instead, if you're if if you're the content zombie and you learn one new thing, this is where the executor comes in. It's like, okay, well, I just learned. I'm not going to ask how was your day. I want to ask what was the best part of your day and tell me why it was so meaningful. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go do that. Mm-hmm. And then the executor is like, okay, walks in the door, holds his wife by the hands, looks at her dead in the eye, and says, "Babe, what was the best part of your day today? Tell me why it was so meaningful to you." Now she might look at you like you have two heads because you you don't do that, <laughs> very nice, but keep doing it do those reps right but that's where Mm -hmm. the skills come in it's where you do the thing to over to override the operating system that is trying to talk you out of doing that 